Good morning, afternoon, evening, midnight snack. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing really good. Today was my Monday. Back to work. Easy day. They're pretty much all easy days. As you can see, we do have some boxes to open today. We've got a couple of AOKs, a couple of amazing AOKs. We got a Funko Shop pickup and a mystery box from one of my favorite companies, Nerd Merch Shop. So stay tuned. So welcome back everybody. I hope you guys are all doing really good. Like I said, it was my Monday. I'm doing good. I'm very excited about these packages over here. If, if you are new to my channel, BAM! Subscribe. It's easy. We're getting close to 500. Finally, it's it's taking a long time, but giveaway time pretty soon. Well, I say that, but it'll probably take us six months to get 19 more subs. Whatever. Uh, while you're down there, thumbs up. Very important. Bell thing. Click that to get notified. And leave a comment. Say hi. Let me know how you're doing. But we're not going to ramble too much today. As far as what is coming in the mail, um, I do have my $100 Dead Zone Mystery Box Pop arrive box arriving tomorrow. For me, that doesn't mean that you're going to see it on a video the day after this one. Unfortunately, I'm kind of lazy about that. But that's arriving. Somebody sent me a photo from another person on Instagram of an item that they had and I contacted them and we worked out a really really good deal. It's a Funko Pop that I've known that it existed for a while. It's a little bit spendy but I had I had the funds I did get paid pretty well for that little gig I did at the restaurant doing the Mother's Day meal, so I felt like splurging. That might be arriving tomorrow, too. What you need. Before we open up these boxes, I wanted to share something that somebody sent me. My buddy Nick, Jim Pops, he also has amazing mystery boxes. Go check him out, too. Jam Pops on Instagram. Um, the wondrous con that just took place. I did not get a lottery spot, which made me sad because there was there was actually three things that I really wanted. One that I really, really wanted. Really, really wanted. Um, probably can't see, but right there are all three of the Slee Stacks in the pop form that Funko has released. There's some wacky wobblers. There's some other Slee Stack figures. They don't fit in my collection, but one thing that I do collect are sodas. And the Wonders Con had a Slee Stack soda, which I was extremely psyched about, but it was a very limited piece um, I was more than willing, once I didn't get the lottery spot, I was expecting to pay retail, well, I mean, the PPG retail. I contacted Nick and said, hey, dude, I saw that you won the lottery. Um, if nobody else has claimed the sleeve sack and you don't want it, I would really like to buy that from you, and I will pay PPG. I'm not expecting you to give me something that, that that's that valuable for what you paid for and he said you know it's funny and he wouldn't tell me who he said somebody contacted me and told me that you really really wanted that sleeve stack and I told them that if I won the lottery I would give it to you as a surprise so surprise that's 
what he said, pretty much word for word. And that's crazy, because this thing has got some good value, and there's a chase version of it that has a ridiculous amount of value. I'm very happy that I did not get the chase. I got the common, and there's a couple reasons why I'm happy that I got this. This is the colors of the Slee Stack that I have in my mind from my memories of watching this show, Land of the Lost, as a child. That's kind of what the Slee Stack looked like in the show. Very creepy, amphibious. That's the pop form, which I think this is like one of my favorite sodas. I think some of the sodas are kind of cheesy. I don't like the eyes and the mouth. But there is also another soda coming up, and it's the Batman Who Laughs. I can't wait for that. That thing looks so badass. I pre-ordered one with a chance at a chase, but one of my good friends in the community works at a comic shop, toy shop, and they have, are, they have or are going to be purchasing a few full cases. I'm going to buy one of those cases just so I... I'm guaranteed the chase. Very cool. But Nick, oh, the other reason why I'm happy I got this, I would have felt bad. I would have felt really bad if I got the gold one because the gold chase version of this thing is like $800. This one, a lot less. But it doesn't matter what this thing has a price tag on. Um, it's invaluable to me just because of the memory association with being a kid the good old days they were the good old days you know I grew up in the 70s 70s were awesome the music was good the cars kicked ass um, at least where I grew up I know that it wasn't the same for everybody but I grew up kind of fortunate to have grown up where I grew up it was fun you know riding our BMX bikes around Popping wheelies, stealing chromies, writing notes to girls. See how Supersonics won back to back world championships. And Land of the Lost was a show on TV that we all watched. And we used to call weird kids Slee Sacks, which isn't very nice, but it's kind of hilarious. So, yeah, Nick, thank you so much. So much for this. I love it. Love it. And so moving on to the boxes. I know that was an amazing gift. Blew my mind. Oh, and also speaking about stuff that's coming up. I do have some more things coming from Nick. I won a really cool pop in one of his mystery boxes. And it wasn't in the box that had to get sent separately because of its size. But if you want to see what that is, go back and watch one of my Gem Pop mystery boxes. I think it was the $60 one? I don't know. But we got something coming that's really cool. And then he's sending me more gifts. That's crazy. It's going back and forth both ways, so you know I'm not just like soaking this up. He's getting stuff from me too. No spoilers. On May the 4th, may the 4th be with you, um, hanging out with my friends in our chat group, and we were speculating on if Funko was going to drop a Funko Shop exclusive, what it might be. They started dropping all these incredible Stormtroopers. The Bad, the bad Batch, which I finally found out is a series on Disney+, Plus, animated. I think. But there's a whole bunch of these different stormtroopers. I pre ordered all of them on Amazon. I think there was only one that I didn't get. But there's a bunch of commons that are all sweet. Uh, it's going to take my stormtrooper, fighter pilot, driver, empire pops from two to like ten. And I'm happy with that. I do need to get 
uh, there's this shelf thing that I'm going to put over here that's going to have all my troopers on it. It's going to be freaking epic. Which leads me to re remind myself to say that one of the other pops from the Wondrous Con I wanted was that Stormtrooper. Haven't got my hands on it yet. Don't know if I will. We'll see. If anybody has one of the ones with the con sticker, I want the con sticker. And want to sell it, let me know. I'll buy it from you. Because I'm not ever going to get all the Stormtroopers. There's some that are way too expensive, but I love them. I think they're so cool. And then there's also a couple Amazon exclusive troopers that come with a little pin, which is sweet. I haven't gotten any of those yet. We got some more pre-orders coming. Anyway, let's uh, let's cut back on the rambling because we're getting into that mode. Anyway, so those stormtroopers dropped, and then all of a sudden somebody's like, "Oh, yep, there's one up on the Funko shop. Go get it." So I went and got it these blind drops that they do are awesome because the bots don't in instantly swoop them up. They usually take 15-20 minutes to sell out. Because nobody knows when it's going to drop. You gotta be... You gotta, you gotta have friends. You gotta be dialed in to people that instantly post when it's available. I was lucky enough to be in one of those groups. Now, this is kind of a classic. Funko doesn't ship their pops very well. At all. As you can see, there is no bubble wrap in a box that was too big for the pop. Luckily for... Oh, and I didn't even show you. Luckily for me, I live two hours away from the Funko shop headquarters. But they use... I mean, this box says it's a 175 pound edge crush test. That means that somebody dropped a 200 pound box on top of this so I'm really hoping that this pop didn't get damaged I think Funko's pretty good about replacing ones that they I'm sure they keep like a small stash of ones to replace for situations like this I don't know and they usually ship exclusives in sorters which, okay, this is an assorter. It didn't feel like it was an assorter for some reason. <clears throat> I guess they're out of bubble wrap. But, yeah, they did a Darth Vader pop, which is cool. I love Darth Vader. I have one Darth Vader, and it's the Christmas one, where he's holding a candy cane. So good good that it was an assorter. There's a pretty good chance that this thing would have been damaged if it wasn't based on how that box looked. But this is cool. This is one where he's... Well, you'll see in a second. He's got his lightsaber, but he's doing his fist. He's, he's giving somebody the force. So that is amazing. Very cool pop. I'm pretty sure all Star Wars are bobbleheads. There might be some that aren't, but... Funko Shop exclusives are $15 when you buy them. Let's check to see if it's in the database right now because I know that people are immediately selling it for like six, 50 to 60 bucks on eBay. Um, its value, current value is $39. So, And this will be for sale. Actually, I'll probably do a Waffleopagus this coming up weekend for me. I don't know when it, will have, it might have already happened by the time you watch this. But very cool pop will go to a new home. If it was a trooper, I would keep it. I always like the chest that has all the little lights and stuff on it. Uh, this, you know, like I said, this did take... It took just under a half an hour to sell out. Oh, and then, yeah, we also got the Tony the Tiger drop. That, that took over half an hour to sell out. I thought that thing was going to sell out like that, but they must have released 20,000 of them. I don't know. And I don't even know how many of those there are. Probably 20,000. But still, in the grand scheme of things, you think about how many people collect Funko Pops. There's still a lot of people that are not happy that they didn't get it. So I will get it into their hands. 
you might be able to get that for five dollars which will probably be the buy-in for the waffle which is pretty good all right next not a Funko Pop my good friend my Funko brother Sean a lot of you know him as Fox Crim. his handle on Instagram is 1738 he is one of the first people I met in this Funko community a long time ago him and I have a fun friendship I mean it's like brothers we fight all the time and it's hilarious I mean we get we're good really good friends but we argue we bicker we go back and forth about certain things it's all good but it's always like done it's like it's said and done gone boom instant squash just we need to vent sometimes I think maybe we vent about other people's problems to each other so that you know anyway one of the things we've been doing from the start is we exchange AOKs on a semi-regular basis and they kind of have been escalating almost like we're trying to outdo each other which is something that brothers would do it's it's awesome but anyway so he said well I'm gonna send you a grail so you're gonna need to step up your game after you see that what this is we'll see I'm, sh I'm sure it's gonna blow in their mind but I mean you can kind of guess by the size of this what it is and the weight I'm pretty sure this is a slabbed book but which one Oh yeah, and this one was kind of smashed up too. Which you kind of almost expect that with these big flat boxes. Yeah. So let's see what we got. I know Fox, you're dying to see what I got. Am I blurry? Yes I am. Be right back. The one good thing about these flat boxes is that you don't have to tape them. I mean, you, you might want to, but uh, he put one pillow in there. Oh, there's two, but they were on the end that didn't get smushed. I, I mean, when it comes, like, that box had would have had to be in, like, <clears throat> bent like this for it to be damaged. <clears throat> these, these slabs are very strong. So now the bubble wrap comes into play. <clears throat> it also is sandwiched in between some cardboard Sean knows how to package stuff and now we got the tape and then we got another padded mailer all right here's the reveal what did Sean send us Am I really blurry again? I don't know if I was blurry or not. It just also gives me an excuse to... Alright, here we go. Let's see what I got. Boom! Boom! Ooh, I've never seen a sideways comic before. This is Batman Detective Comics 1000. Oh, it's an 80 year one? Okay, well, first off the bat, the cover on this thing is freaking spectacular. I love all the bad guys are like kind of ethereal, green. That's that sweet. Yep, Batgirl. A little Robin. Catwoman. So this is, and it's 9.8 graded, which as far as I know is the highest you can get. I've never seen anything higher than Detective Comics number 1000. Uh, I can't pronounce that. Suyan variant cover. Five, 
first appearance of Arkham Knight. Oh, in the DC Universe. Really? That's the first appearance of Arkham Knight? Scott Snyder. I got some cool, I got some badass Snyder stuff. King, Tomasi, O'Neill, Bendis, and Priest Stories. When, when Daniel Jones, Lee, Maliv, Caprio, and Monk. Oh, Monk does some good stuff too. I don't know if I'm saying right, though. But they did the art. Box. I don't have any idea what the monetary value on this thing is. Which I don't really care. Because this is never going anywhere. I'm sure it's got some really good value. So, love you for that. Look at that, though. I need to get the most glare free. Let's see if I can shut down PPG. Yeah, so that's the first appearance of Arkham Knight Batman. But see how the, the bad guys are all like kind of in green, just hanging out. Very, very cool. This exclusive Miko Suyan and Romulo Fajardo, Fajardo Jr. Variant cover edition is presented by Unknown Comics. Thank you, Fox. You rule. When did this come out? 2019? No, that can't be right. I mean, maybe, oh, well, I mean, it was 80 years. So, how is that the first appearance of Arkham Knight? I love Batman, you guys, but I'm terrible when it comes to the comic book lore. So, that looks amazing without the glare. So, that'll be mounted up on the wall. I got a couple books over here. I think I'm going to end up getting the Batman Who Laughs one graded and slabbed. It's like one of the first expensive books that I ever bought. It's beautiful. So, boom! Sean! That's a grail. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. I don't love being blurry. Alright. Lastly. Last thing we're opening up tonight. This video is long. I know. I appreciate you guys that hang out and watch the whole thing. I understand for those that don't. You got things to do. You got places to go. Other videos to watch. So, if you have fast forward up to this point, welcome. We are about to open this box. If you did fast forward up to this point, you missed out on an amazing, amazing AOK. Well, two AOKs. You missed out on an amazing slab book, Batman book, from my buddy Sean, and a soda AOK from my buddy Nick. So you might want to go back and watch that to see what we got. Okay, so back into mystery box mode. Nerd Merch Shop. They are a small operation out of Portland, Oregon. Right around somewhere in the Portland, Oregon area. I lived in Corvallis, Oregon for 10 years. Which is just south of Portland. I like the comp I mean, I like a lot of companies, but... I'm happy when I find companies on the West Coast because shipping is cheaper and much faster normally. Not the case on this. This came out just under two weeks ago. Um, they do guaranteed value over purchase price mystery boxes. Most of the pops you get out of them are brand new, which I'm fine with. I've done extremely well with these boxes. I think the last two we just got the guaranteed value, which is fine because the guaranteed value is always more than the purchase price. It's a no-brainer. 
they're still relatively unknown despite some well-known people putting out videos of them I'm not sure why but go follow them nerd merch shop on Instagram I think it's one word at nerd merch shop they do these mystery box trios the selling price is usually 25 to 40 dollars the guaranteed value is usually 10 to 15 dollars over the purchase price I've heard that the shipping to the East Coast is a little bit steep but because of the fact that you're getting guaranteed value and there's some really sweet pulls you can get out of it I, it's, I think it's something you should check out I've seen people pull double triple value I've pulled double and triple value out of these reminiscing one of the pulls that we got several months ago was the Funko Shop exclusive Carnage Blacklight we did end up selling that pretty soon after we opened it up and even then I think we ended up I mean we got that out of a $35 box I think we ended up selling it for like eight or ninety dollars that thing now is going for two hundred and twenty dollars I had no idea that there was a Venom uh, Carnage movie coming out I might have thought for a couple minutes about holding on to it I, you know it's just like getting mystery boxes I have to open them immediately if I get some pops that have value I want to sell them so that I could buy more mystery boxes this one had some pretty sweet pulls this one was one this is one of their higher-end ones this is a $40 box guaranteed I think 50 or 55 um, but like I said they're in Portland I usually get their boxes two days after they ship them I think I got one once in one day which is awesome this one show that a shipping label was created and then nothing happened for like five or six days not picked up not received not accepted so I contact them like hey uh, you guys ship that box right because it's showing that it's still waiting acceptance I sent that on like a nighttime text and the next day he didn't respond that night because it was late I checked the informed delivery and this thing showed up that morning in Iowa not the right direction so this obviously was misplaced into the wrong bin and not scanned accordingly showed up in Iowa so I hope you had fun in Iowa I've never been there and then it departed Iowa and I didn't hear anything for like five days and I was starting to get a little bit concerned again and then boom it just showed up at my post office didn't stop in Spokane like most boxes do it just went straight from Iowa to Yakima so they must have been like oh crap we need to fix this I don't know how that works I don't know how the USPS works with their major shipping but I can't remember the pops that are in here I think there was that Pietro one um, some other pretty decent stuff there there's some really good value pops in this so the amount of traveling this thing did I was kind of worried that it was gonna be more banged up than it is but it's in good shape there's their little stamp nerd merch shop And I'm pretty sure this was the trio so there's gonna be three pops in here it's been a little while since we opened up one of their boxes so I can't remember they do use um, pop protectors on all their pops but the protectors are only good for shipping they're not that good for displaying they're really thin and they usually have a film on them so I always have to take them out uh, like I said it's been a while since I've opened up one of their boxes so I can't remember where the hit is so we're just gonna go with it take them out of their protectors so as you can see see how easy it is it just still has the film on it
I don't know if you heard the song that's playing in the background. Let's see if we can do it really quick and knock it. I always like that song. All right, here we go. Boom. Well, that's interesting. And why does it have to have one of the hardest names in the world to pronounce? So this is going to get butchered. When did this come out? Last year. All right, Giannis. Seriously, I'm not even going to try that. I have to, though. Otherwise, you'll be like, you have to. All right. Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo. I don't know. That's an amazing name. I haven't got to watch basketball. I haven't watched basketball for a long time. Seattle doesn't have a team anymore. I have nobody to root for. So, let's see the value on this thing. Cool pop. Like I said, this came out last year. This is the alternate jersey. It's $12. The white jersey, there's an away jersey. Oh, there's an autographed one. There's one that's worth $290. What's up with that? No. Oh. So, Seven Bucks Pop did a signature series one. There's one that has 95 pieces that's worth $290, which is cool. Um, I have one autograph series from Seven Bucks Pop. There's 10 pieces of it. There's only 10 in existence of this one. I have no idea what the value of that thing is. But it's more than what PNG says. And that's one of my favorite pops. All right. I kind of saw out of the corner of my eye this pop. I have no idea. It might have looked like a Freddy Funko. I don't know. No. That's not Freddy Funko. That is Peter Pan. And their pops... The boxes are always in really good condition. 65th anniversary, Peter Pan. Um, I can't see when this came out. Sometimes their dating system is weird. I think last year, Peter Pan. One of my favorite movies is Hook. Go with Robin, rest in peace. So I saved the middle one for last. So I think, if I remember correctly, the middle one is usually the hit. So that's cool. So would we say that we were at like $12? Recently went up $3 to take its value to $11. So we're at $23. Bucks. Next pop should be at least $25 ish. Here we go. You guys ready? I'm ready. I know this video's gone on for a while. Apologize for those of you that have other things to do. But here we go. Boom. So we didn't get the Pietro. But this is cool. This is good old Ralph Wiggum eating paste. I don't know if kids of the 90s and the aughts ate paste in grade school, but children of the 70s certainly did. So I think this has decent value. Uh, I don't collect any of these, so these will all be going up on whatnot. Depending on the value of this one, this could possibly be a Sunday Funday waffle item. Condition is great. There you go. Good old Ralph. Ralph Wiggum has good value. I wasn't really expecting that. Um, his current PPG is 60 bucks. That's pretty sweet. 
it did just go up 10 bucks recently, but still, even if it was 50. Um, and yeah, its initial release, it was like going for 75, 70 bucks, but the sales on it have been really consistent. And then just like in the last couple weeks, it's been trending upwards. So that's awesome. I don't know how limited this thing was, but definitely waffle opagus worthy. So stay tuned for that. We'll be doing the Darth Vader and good old Ralph Wiggin coming up. Or they might have already happened. I don't know. If it did, I'm sorry that you missed out. But if you don't want to miss out, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Godear underscore pops. Because yeah, I will be posting interest posts for those. All right, we got a lot of editing to do. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Once again, Sean, Nick, I love you guys. I appreciate these gifts so much. They mean a lot to me. I mean, the items themselves have tremendous sentimental value to me. Everybody stay safe. Have a good night. Invest in Bitcoin if you want to make some money. We'll talk about that some other day. Peace.